For the better part of the past four decades, Pete and I have traveled all over this country, sampling flying fishing lodges of all types. Tell me that is not the most fun you will have all summer long. So let us show you some of our all-time favorite locations. How's that, baby? This is a walleye fisherman's dream here, folks. Big, big. Big walleye like this. Oh, buddy! Oh, that's Look nice. at the size of this thing. You gotta fly up to get it. You fly up to get oh. it. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Garmin, plot your paradise, reel them in. Mercury Outboards, go boldly and Ontario Canada in partnership with Destination Ontario. A couple of weeks ago, we dedicated an entire episode to drive to fishing lodges. Well, this week, we explore the exciting world of fly-ins. Now, although Pete and I are constantly spewing the virtues of flying fishing, we do get the fact that it's not everybody's cup of tea. After all, the perception is that they're expensive, you need to take time away from work, time away from the family if you're going with fishing buddies, and make the time to set it all up. Well, that's the perception. Reality is that today's fly-ins are no more expensive than most other getaways, especially if you compare them to the annual family vacation. In fact, with travel and border restrictions being what they are, this might be the perfect year to make fly-in fishing a family affair. After all, nothing says I love you like a fly-in family vacation. Fly-in fishing lodges have been around since the advent of float planes in 1946. De Havilland's iconic Beaver aircraft was, and still is, the vehicle of choice and the workhorse for today's flying fishing lodges. First brought to the public's attention in 1968 by the Red Fisher TV show, fly-in lodges have come a long way since those early days. That handful of adventurous entrepreneurs have given way to the burgeoning modern industry that we know and love today. However, with the coronavirus and the pandemic, things certainly have changed. Lodge owners have scrambled to make things safe for their customers, yet still offering the ultimate in a dream fishing vacation. How awesome is this fish? Oh! I'm in my glory. Can you tell? Wow. With COVID-19 suddenly rocking our world, can our beloved Canadian fishing lodges survive? You bet they can, but only with our support. There's no better time than the present to book that trip of a lifetime. For the better part of the past four decades, Pete and I have traveled all over this country, sampling flying fishing lodges of all types. So let us show you some of our all-time favorite locations. And because of the travel restrictions that may be in place in various provinces, we're gonna keep it relatively close to home, Ontario. Perfect. Beautiful walleye. The humpback. Race Lake walleye. Fabulous. That's what we're looking for. Yep. Whoa, did you see that? Whoa. Did you see that? Oh, out of the water. My God. That's our six pound test line. Did, did you guys see that? Oh my God, I've never seen anything like that. That was before. awesome. Beautiful. <laughs> Yes. Wow. Look at that fish. Tell me that is not the most fun you will have all summer long. People from all over the world travel thousands and thousands of miles for that little guy right there. That's gorgeous. Got him, boys. Whoa, it's a big one. <laughs> Oh, buddy! Oh, oh, that's Look thing. at the size of this thing! <laughs> this is a sample of what you can get and better. <laughs> Gorgeous fish. Up you go, baby. See ya. Oh, yeah. Look at her. That is a blast. Good that job. That is a blast. I don't care if you have to travel a day or two to wow. get that quality oh, of fish. You know what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you gotta fly up to get it. You fly up to get oh. it.
You know what? If 10 of you boys come in here, and each one of you catches one like that, you've had yourself one heck of a trip. Oh. Got you. I got you. There are two types of flying and fishing trips. Those that take you to the ultimate in luxury, an actual lodge, as well as those that drop you into a small remote lake, leaving you all on your own in what's called the outpost cabin. Both are true adventures, yet are vastly different from each other. That's one of the outpost cabins here. It's certainly not a luxury lodge. It's just, this is uh, roughing it with awesome fishing. Think about it that way. It is so worth it to come out to a little cottage, three or four days, like that little outpost camp right there, and you have a blast. Got you. I got you. <laughs> An all-inclusive flying fishing lodge truly is something to behold. The float plane pulls up to the dock, the lodge crew grabs your gear, you walk up to the check-in counter, maybe have a coffee and then breakfast, and then head to your fully furnished cabin or room with all your gear already delivered, just like they do at Vegas or Disney. You genuinely get the feeling of living in luxury out in the middle of nowhere. A seven day trip like this can cost you somewhere between two and $3,000 per person. Now remember, this is an all inclusive trip of a lifetime. So when comparing this experience to any other all inclusive vacation, you're gonna find that it would be cheap at twice the price. And I'll guarantee you, you won't experience things like this down south. Get in here, get in here. Wow. Oh man. man these are this is that scary fishery right here. This is as good a fishery, I think, as we've experienced. Oh, in the North Country? In North Absolutely. Country. Look at that walleye. nice walleye. Oh, baby. <laughs> Sweet. Without a doubt, the ultimate luxury in fishing is the lodge experience. Heck, they feed you there, they guide you to the fish, it is the ultimate. However, there is an alternative. It's called the outpost camp. There, you bring in your own food, you cook it, and you guide yourself to the fish. It's a good alternative to a lodge, and it can be an awesome experience. An outpost flying trip is the quintessential Canadian flying adventure. It starts out the same as a regular lodge fly-in. But the big difference is the outpost headquarters is a small two, three, or four bedroom cabin. The building is like a rustic cottage or camp, but it's often the only one on the entire lake. It's total isolation from the rest of the world and pure ecstasy for those seeking to be alone. Tell me, a lake that you can take a little three and a half horsepower and catch fish like this. The lake, here's the lake right here, I can see it all. You fly in, one camp on the lake, you're the only boat or the only group. If you want to come in with the, the place will sleep 10 people. You know what? If 10 of you boys come in here and each one of you catches one like that, you've had yourself one heck of a trip. Oh. Woohoo, baby. Wow. Mm. This trip is more for the hardcore angler, not needing or wanting luxury, restaurant style fine dining, or the pampering that the lodge experience offers. You're there to eat, sleep, and fish day after day, no matter what Mother Nature throws at you. This hot spot is a shallow bay on Garnham Lake that warms up quickly in the spring, a perfect place for northern pike to rest after the spawn. The waypoint on your screen will take you right there. Upon entering the bay, try conventional baits like spinner baits, suspended minnow baits, and top waters. But if the fish don't react quickly, then bring out the live suckers on a quick strike rig. It's important to remember to set the hook as soon as the pike grabs it. Any hesitation, and the fish could try swallowing the whole rig, thus hooking it deep in the throat. For more hot spots like this one, check out fishincanada.com. Today's fantastic fishing location, I headed north on Highway 400 to Highway 69. At Sudbury, I headed west on Highway 17 to the town of White River. I then boarded a float plane at White River Air, which took me to the southern outpost camp on Garnham Lake. If you don't have blood in your hands when you're walleye fishing, you weren't walleye fishing. You weren't catching them. Whoa. Shark! 
That's a poker. <laughs> As far as fish species are concerned on a fly-in trip, walleye and pike are the two main players in the ring, and justifiably so, as Canada's combined numbers are among the best in the world. I'm in the Algoma region of Ontario, and my quarry is the ever-popular walleye. I've been headhunted as a hired gun by Dan and Brandy McLaughlin of White River Air. My mission is to drop into one of the many almost virgin lakes that they access and come out with a report. Today I'm on Burton Lake. It's a typical Northern Ontario walleye lake with the usual rock, weed, and wood structures. Another gorgeous fish. Another just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Algoma walleye. Look at that thing. Oh. Oh man. Yeah, you don't like Petey, do you? Do that circle right into my net. Just like we choreographed it, young fella. If you don't have blood on your hands when you're walleye fishing, you weren't walleye fishing. You weren't catching them. Because that's what he's doing right now. He's trying to cut me up. He is trying to slice and dice me. Look at him. Shaking. Give me back. I'll get you back, buddy. How about that right there? For getting back. Oh, I'm gonna try to rig, a, I was gonna try and rig another rod up, and I got caught by a fish. Another beautiful, consistent wall. It's almost like you're catching the same fish. These things are so perfect. Oh, oh, I love you, fish. You are scary nice. Yeah. This is a walleye fisherman's dream here, folks. A little wee lake like this pumping out big, big, big walleye like this. Put them back. Hey, easy. Look at that. Look when they flare those gills like that. That's sharp, by the way, folks. Right there, you cut your hands on that every time. Oh, he's ugly. Move that net out of the way for you. Ooh, this is amazing. I'm loving it. I don't want to ever go home. I want to live here. This has been an incredible day. I set out to test the walleye fishing on a fly-in lake for the possibility of a future outpost camp, and the result, well, you saw it. Fantastic. Fishing mission accomplished. There's something about flying over Northern Ontario that really calms and yet excites an angler at the same time. Our destination, Eddie North's Attawapiskat Adventures, is a very rustic style hunting and fishing camp. If you're looking for absolute luxury with every amenity available, then this is not for you. However, if you are looking for a no frills, affordable camp that is situated in some of Ontario's most pristine pike and walleye waters, then this is definitely for you. Good to meet you. Great to meet you. Take that. <clears throat> yep. You got him, buddy? Yeah, he's on, bud. I saw his tail coming up on that. It's the only indication. He's a long fish, eh? Wow. <laughs> Boy, he's being very cooperative, isn't he? Oh, my God. Almost too much so. Coming at you. I'm going to just sort of hold the cradle as yep. still as I can. There you go. Shark. <laughs> there we go. Look at that fish. That's a piker. <laughs> it's you know he's skinny, but he's a gorgeous, beautiful gorgeous fish. Isn't he? fish Big man. head. Look at the size of that head, Pete. Yeah, that's the thing. The wow. heads of these fish are incredible. <laughs> rope, rope. Yeah. <laughs> the wolf. You okay? Yeah, I think so, buddy. <laughs> Lovely. Look at that head. Look at that blind eye. You Look. big. Beast. Whoa. Oh, yeah. See you, buddy. <laughs> That's just you a know, predator right there. You can say what you want about the much maligned pike, but they have got to be the sportiest fish in our waters. I don't care what anybody says. I mean, bass is fine and walleye is great and musky and salmon, but a big snake like that, a big gator, you you got to be kidding me if you don't think that's a great sport fish, man. Wow. Awesome. Woo.
This hot spot is a brake line on Burton Lake. The waypoint on your screen will get you there. At first glance, this certainly doesn't look like a walleye hotspot, but drop a jig down there when the water is in the high 50s, and hopefully you'll have the same success that I had. Remember, this is one of 30 gorgeous lakes that White River Air has access to for fishing and hunting. Trust me, there are walleye up here that have never seen a jig and minnow. For more hotspots like this one, check out fishingcanada.com. Today's northern pike fishing took place on the Attawapiskat River in northern Ontario. To get there from Toronto, we took Highway 400 north to Highway 11. We headed northwest to Highway 584 at Geraldton. From there, we drove north to the town of Nakina and finally took Cordingly Lake Road to the Nakina Air Seaplane Base. From there, we flew into Eddie North's Attawapiskat Adventures Camp on Bateau Lake. Ram's extensive testing created some great features like the four-corner air suspension, which lowers the vehicle half an inch while at highway speeds. Choice is the key advantage here, with the ability to adjust the height of the vehicle at the push of a button. Higher for more ground clearance, or lower for more aerodynamics and fuel economy. And if that wasn't enough, when the truck is in motion, the new power side steps rotate into the rocker panels to reduce both drag and noise. Clever innovation at its finest. That's why this ram is perfect. That was oh, oh, look at that my fish! God. My God! There we yes. go! Yeah. Look at that <laughs> fish! God, that is spectacular, man. Gorgeous brook trout. Oh! Another great species to seek is the ever so popular brook trout. Now, although there are many drive-to locations to catch these beautiful creatures, the fly-in packages offer you the ultimate wilderness adventure with a chance at lots of fish and some giants thrown in the mix. Regardless of the package, either the full-service American plan or the housekeeping cottages, Lodge 88 is hands down one of the finest wilderness resorts I've ever experienced. We have three main species that people fish for. I guess primarily would be the walleye in northern and um, we also have perch fishing in the lake. We also have a, a lake available to our guests, it's Rock Lake, and in there we have fantastic brook trout fishing. As if flying into this resort was not enough to experience the beautiful Ontario wilderness, to access this phenomenal speck fishing, I was in for a wonderful portage to some pretty serious moose country. He's coming right at me. Just, just like a salmon they are, eh? Oh my God, he's coming right, right at, at me. Right at you, whoa! There you go. You're caught up with him now. Now he's. Oh, oh look at that my fish! God. My God! <laughs> oh, that's what it's all about, oh, right there. Oh, baby! That's per that's baby. worth the price of admission. Right oh, there. Right there is the price of admission, my friend. There we yes. go. Yeah! Look at that <laughs> fish! Oh, my God, that is spectacular, man. Oh yeah! What a brute! What a brute! Slime ya. <laughs> the Blue Lake system, home to Blue Fox Camp, consists of Blue Lake and seven surrounding feeder lakes. It has the distinction of being the province's only self-sustaining inland three-species trout system. Besides the Blue Lake system, we have access to approximately 50 back lakes all of which are stocked with brook trout that grow to seven, eight pounds approximately. Oh, that's a gorgeous brook trout. Oh, oh. All right, Mr. Berkey, come on home. Now you're gonna see a really colorful brook trout here, but it's pale in comparison to what it's going to be in about four and a half, five months this fall. Oh, look at that. Okay. Gotcha. I want to pick this fish up to show you, but uh, I don't know how cooperative that he's going to be. There he is. How's that baby? Oh, that is gorgeous. That is worth the trip into these little backwoods. Trust me. Well, okay, it's got to go. Whoa. <laughs> See ya. Hey, as we sit at the head of the show, 
We get the fact that fly-ins are not everyone's cup of tea, to each his own. But I'd like to leave you on this note. Don't let the cost scare you, because if you break it all down and compare apples to apples, it's a lot less expensive than you think. And besides, if you're looking for the ultimate fishing adventure with friends or family, a chance of catching, let's say, 50 to 100 walleye a day per person, or a personal best brookie, northern pike, or lake trout, it's time that you take advantage of the cards that we've been dealt with COVID-19 and this pandemic. A fly-in fishing trip has never made more sense or been more affordable than right now. I promise you, you won't regret it. See you next week. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. Garmin, plot your paradise, reel them in. Mercury Outboards, go boldly. And Ontario Canada, in partnership with Destination Ontario. Closed captioning for this episode was brought to you by FishingCanada.com the gateway to your next fishing adventure. Come on.